Okay, quick update. Week one of 16, three weeks towards the dedicated buildup of 13 weeks towards Abu Dhabi Marathon. I'll take you through week by week, like what I'm doing. I'll try to film as much as I can. It's not easy when you're on your own, but I'll try to do as much as I can. Uh, we've got the All In Run Club on a Sunday, which is seven o'clock in the morning, which means I need to start at 5.30 and get over there, which is about a 30 minute drive from here. And, um, and organize the thing, which is brilliant. It's absolutely, it's so many people running between 20 minutes and 50 minutes and the vibe is fantastic which is you know it's making me really happy right now it's hot so today 42 degrees during the day when i was out there um that's a typical day um it's it's sunset now and probably it feels like 37 38 but it feels because it's 10 percent less than what it was during the day you feel like ah, oh, this is pretty chilly and there's a nice breeze at the moment which may blow over the camera but anyway over to in terms of the heat, it's just something that you need to work with in June, July, August, being here in the Middle East. There's no respite, uh, it's hot all night. I've tried to do KOMs before up mountains here and set off at two, three o'clock in the morning. There's no difference, you're just running in the dark in the same temperature. Um, and so, yeah, you're just gonna have to play with that until October, which is the first race or the first effort, which is gonna be 10 miles, middle of October. Uh, so about four weeks, six, six weeks from now, which is great. Really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to racing. Again, there's other things in the pipeline with other races and organizations, etc. Then there's going to be two KOM attempts, one up Jabal Hafeet, which is 12 kilometers at about 7%. I don't have that one, but I have the other one, which is Jabal Jace, 20 kilometers at 5.5%. And that literally takes you from the bottom of the mountain to the Omani border. So it's very special, but it's a different type of mountain to what we may be used to in Europe, very green, kind of lush, foresty mountains. This is arid. You're literally in the desert. So something you have to work with. And so a lot of the time this week was spent a little bit outside on the recovery runs and then inside on the treadmill to kind of finish the session. But Monday, a.m., 40 minutes recovery. And then p.m., as I always say to you guys, easiest, easiest day to do, to do a heavy leg session and that was legs in the PM, about six hours after my morning recovery run. Recovery run, super easy. First three kilometers outside, where it's tough to keep my heart rate in zone two even, and then I get back indoors and it feels a lot, a lot easier, even though the gym here is, I'll come off the gym and the temperature's been 28 to 30. That's how hot it is, and it's right in front, as you might have seen if you watched the video. I filmed that session, I'll continue to film as much as I can of the training, some of it's not easy, obviously, when you're working alone, but I'll try to show you as much as I possibly can, what I'm eating, training, uh, fueling, nutrition, everything under the bonnet as possible, as possible. Tuesday was 50 minutes easy. None of this is dissimilar to what I tell you, tell you guys is, is best practice. Be out there, soul focused, bridging the recovery run to the, the training session on Wednesday. The training session on Wednesday was seven times five minutes. I did that on a treadmill at 2%. I filmed that session, I showed you, talked you through the heart rate, so you can go back and I'll put a link at the end of this video to that video. Um, and it, why 2%? Because I've been training a lot on the hills, so between five, seven and 10%. And that's because I can push my heart rate, I can really get it into zone three and zone four without the damage on the legs. Um, and I've been training specifically for hill races in Thailand at the start of the year. And so I just conti continued with that, with the thought that maybe October I go for a couple of uh, fastest known times or KOMs, whatever you want to call them here on those two mountains. So that's continued, but now it's changed to marathon training. The legs need to get used to flat running. And so if you bring them from the hills to flat, all of a sudden the body is literally working in a different way and it's gonna get hurt if you try to do too much speed too quickly, too many hills too quickly, too much of a different terrain too quickly, longer run too much too soon or overall volume. So all of those things I'm keeping in check as I'm moving forward. So that interval session of seven times five minutes, I feel like um, Mariah Carey or Beyonce in this video, but, but the wind is coming this way. And that's backing onto golf course over there, which I have nothing to do with whatsoever. But over there, and I'll show you in a second, is football pitches, cricket pitches, t tennis pitches, paddle tennis pitches, athletic track that's being serviced, and a second athletic track over there. This is the center of Dubai as far as I'm concerned. That interval session 
was great. It went from my typical volume that has been 20 minutes of total volume, 24 minutes of total volume, and this was, and then 30 minutes of total volume, and this was 35 minutes of total volume. I felt that extra, and I felt that, okay, now you're training towards something, or you're training towards the training. The trick in these, last, in these next three weeks is to prepare the body for the training schedule. I'm amazed by, by how many people just go, okay, I'm, I'm running London Marathon or I'm running Berlin Marathon, I need a 16 week plan or a 13 week plan off the internet, get something off the internet and then start from scratch. You're literally on the back foot and you're gonna injure yourself, you're gonna hurt yourself and you're not gonna make the start line. For me, this sport is all about fun. The more fun that you make it, the more you're gonna do it, the better you're gonna get at it. So if you're prepared for the training schedule, which you should be, then you're gonna be able to push when it really counts. The key session is you push in at the interval session where you're building speed, speed endurance, and the long run where you build in endurance and stamina. And that's what I'm working on right now. Thursday was a rest. So I took a walk outside in the beautiful 42 degrees. And I'll take you on that walk. One of the things that might not be uh, believable is the iPhone doesn't survive that long out there in that heat. And so I'm gonna need to figure out, maybe I have to carry it in an icebox or something like that, but as long as the, the, and the video just dies as well, it doesn't tell you, it doesn't save. And so often, and then you'll, you cannot wait out there for it to cool down. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way where I can show you just what it feels like and what the heart rate is doing when I'm walking, let alone running. But I'll try and show you both. Friday was recovery, just 40 minutes. Saturday, I did the long run. So, the, so this, is, this is not best practice. And it's because I've just started this all in run club this initiative and, and so I, I love it. I love being part of it. People running from between 20 minutes and, uh, and 50 minutes. Great vibe, great people, all ages. Um, it's fantastic. It really feels, it feeds the soul and it's a good, there's lots of good people around. Um, and so that means that's on the Sunday, which I'm gonna sort of have as a mini threshold tempo and ended up pacing somebody yesterday. Um, but that meant I needed to swap my long run to long slow distance on Saturday, um, just 75 minutes. So on the treadmill, undulating, got easy access to the drinks, just letting my body know if that's a big increase from just an hour, but it's all manageable. A lot of that was in zone two. I'm pushing a tiny little bit, but not much. And then I push it into the hills because I'm used to running hills a lot of the time. Um, and again, that's, I'm training essentially for two or three different things, yeah? So training for a marathon, 10 mile is gonna be very, very similar training. It's also on the tarmac, also flat. But the two hill runs, 6.5% up Jabal Hafeet and 5.5% up Jabal Jace, I've gotta get ready for them as well, which is gonna aid the marathon run. It's gonna make me strong, but I've gotta got sort of alternate weeks in a, in a way and maybe do sessions where I'm doing some flat intervals, some hill intervals, some flat intervals and, and just sw switch it around. It's gonna be fun training and I'll take you through it and try to make that work for your sessions, you know? Um, I really enjoyed that long run. Um, and then on a Sunday, I woke up yesterday, uh, which it is yesterday, 2 a.m. and I was wide awake and I, you know, it's almost like excitement before a race, um, but um, yeah, woke up to it, wasn't able to get back to sleep, and I'm kind of like checking everything out, making sure everything's organized, the ice, the drinks, etc. Um, and then I went and uh, Tom wanted pacing to a sub 20 minute, instead of pacing to 3K, so we went through, we went through in 3.53, 3.58, so pacing was a bit off with the first one, sorry for that, Tom, and 3.54 for the third kilometer, and then I went off uh, and did 3.37, 3.27. So finishing pretty strong there, heart rate is not doing anything crazy. Pace, you know, as you can see from the graph here, it's um, really flat up until up until 3K and I t take off and then the heart rate follows it a little bit, but it's not going it's not going crazy. Everything is within myself. Cadence drops off a couple of times for a couple of junctions, but it's all, all in all, I'm, I'm happy. And um, it's funny how everything, everything makes sense again. My life has been different for two years now. Uh, everything has started to make a lot more sense again since you're doing exactly what you feel you're supposed to be doing and uh, exactly what feeds the soul. So yeah, week one, update one, and uh, all in all, happy. I will keep updating you, I'll keep filming the sessions, but if you have any questions about those training sessions, about the runs, 
um, let me know in the comments below.